Hello everybody, it's me, Cullen, back with another shave. Now tonight I will be using 345 Soap Company Fresh Cut Fade. This is a lovely barbershop scent. I also have the balm for it tonight, as well as the Splishity Splash. So we will be smelling extra yummy barbershoppy good. Um, today's razor will be the Carve Overlander um, Aluminum or as some people overseas say, aluminium. Um, Captain's Choice Bowl, and we are using um, our new Sun Making Required brush that I just received from my boy Logan. I appreciate it, Logan. This thing is... <coughs> Love the colors on this. Uh, this thing is definitely me. Um, Logan sent this, he just sent this to me uh, when he sent back my hone, uh, Type 15 from um, testing it out. Um, thank you, Logan. I appreciate that brush. Um, let's get on with this shave. I'm really interested to see how this Carve um, Overlander does. Um, will it be a winner or a loser? And the knot that this uh, SMR has, I don't know if it's the, I don't know if this is the G5 knot, the newest one, or if it's the G4, um, like what I've gotten from Steve at Alpha, um, that I've put in a couple of my brushes that I've really enjoyed. Um, I got it some other uh, nice knots and I, I gotta put them in a handle. I have a couple handles on the way that I think will be perfect for it so but let's see how this feels. Usually I'm not too keen on um, aluminum razors because um, they're just too light. I prefer titanium um, to me, titanium is that good weight right between aluminum and anything else. Um, so it's a smooth shaver for sure. Um, I don't know what the blade gap is on it. Uh, the blade I have in here is Second Use RK Stainless. Usually I don't have a problem with these arcades feeling dull like this. Mm. On the second use. Um, the angle to find on this is real easy. Um, That's for sure. Um, that's one path down. Um, it's a uh, nice feeling so far. It's not. Uh, doesn't feel to be very efficient. It might be. Um, I went ahead and put on this titanium handle. 
has more weight to it. We'll see how, excuse me, we'll see how that goes. Uh, the second one, if it helps with the shave or not. Um, but yeah, I don't know if this knot's the G5 or the G4. Um, I've never had a G5 knot. I have several G4s. I really enjoy them. Um, right here I was recording tonight. I trust my last video. I thought I was recording, but apparently I wasn't. Um, Um, has really good blade clamping. Um, I'll give it that. Um, it feels to be fairly mild. Um, I don't know how efficient it's going to be. Like I said, I don't know the blade gap. Um, I looked it up, but I don't remember it now. Um, but we'll see how efficient it is come tomorrow. Um, three, four, five, so this Trinity base is so good. Um, Hopefully the new base um, will be just as good. I don't know what removing that one oil um, What type of uh, effect, if any, it'll have to the soap? I would imagine none. Um, I can't imagine John or any um, soap maker switching their base without um, testing it properly. Um, but I have to say on my neck, um, very comfortable. Um, you know, my last shave, um, with that stupid feather blade in the asylum, it really irritated my neck. Um, I didn't get it all red and razor bumpy. It just, uh, I could feel the irritation to it, um, right after I shaved. Um, but but 
but not with the, uh, not with this at all. Um, very nice and smooth. Um, I don't know how to, let's just, let's just keep going, right? Let's, oh, I need a, this is my haircut here. Um, I have plenty of soap left over. I'm hoping that my shoulder will let me do this. Um, you know, I had rotator cuff surgery done. I guess it's been probably two years ago now. Um, and I thought, um, you know, you think your body's all good, but I don't know, I was amazed. I went and uh, played golf the other day, or tried to, and uh, I was really shocked as to how much strength I've lost in that arm and um, the range of motion, um, even though I've done all my stretches and exercises uh, to maintain the range of motion. It's just not the same. Um, let's see how this does for a uh, Uh, totally lost my train of thought. I don't even know what I was talking about now. Um, I thought I was talking about my shoulders. I don't know. Um... Yeah, but I, I know that my right shoulder here is bad. You know, they've been telling me to... Um to do rotator cuff surgery on my right shoulder as well. Um, I was actually supposed to have had it done over a year ago, actually over two years ago, but with COVID, um, COVID kind of put a halt to the world. Um, Seeing how that was, I guess you could say this century's uh, Spanish flu outbreak that uh, was it back in the 1800s that they had that huge Spanish flu outbreak and all the, uh, you know, so many people died from it. So, this is good to know that it's a, uh, a good head shaving razor. Um, I wasn't too sure, but after using it on my face, um, I felt like it might 
be, I don't want to say mild enough, but it might be uh, the type of razor I can use for my head to shave it without cutting my head all up and my scars. Um, I have to have a certain feel on a razor, it seems like, for it to be a successful head shaver for me. Um, And this one, uh, this one's really good. Uh, that hurt, but yeah, so often I found out that, uh, Trying to lift a club out of my bag with my right shoulder wasn't um, wasn't working so well. Um, so my shoulder may be to the point to where I can't put off my surgery any longer, which. I really don't want to have it because, man, did it suck. You know, and it being my right arm, which is my dominant arm. just makes for things to be that much more interesting after surgery. Um, you know, if you've never had any type of shoulder surgery or or um, carpal tunnel surgery, um, you know, being right-handed or left-handed, whatever your dominant hand is, um, we kind of always feel like the other hand is useless. Um, because it seems like the coordination just isn't the same with that hand as your dominant hand. Um, I'll tell you what, uh, you don't realize how much you actually depend on your non-dominant hand um, or arm until you can't use it. Uh, and then you realize, uh, it makes you realize how often you actually did use it. Um, So far, um, like going against the grain with this razor, um, on my head, it's kind of, it's not something that I could just start shaving with and it takes the hair all the way down to the skin. Uh, I'm having to I'm having to use a bit of pressure 
I'm having to be careful right here because right here I have a scar and I if I don't pay attention with that um, it sucks when I cut my scars for some reason the scars just hurt so much worse um, I got a good face shave with it. Um, head shave, it's doing a uh, pretty good. Um, The blade um, may just not be the the choice for head shaving. Because uh, like I said, um, I am having to use more pressure than normal um, with it on my head. Which to me in um, my experience with shaving my head, um, when I have to use pressure like that, it's usually when I end up cutting the crap out of myself. I don't know, maybe the uh, maybe the brass one would be better for me. Uh, from my understanding, they must shave exactly the same. Um, it's just the weight. Um, But, um, but yeah, there we go. Head done too. All right, well, let me get all this cleaned up and I'll be back with you. All right, all you party people, we are back. Tonight we use the Capitan's Choice HT Copper Bowl. We substituted the original handle um, for the Imperial handle by chiseled face on the carved Volander aluminium um, to give it some weight uh, because um, it's just too light. Uh, that's one reason why I don't like aluminum razors with the exception of the Timeless because it's so much heavier. 
Um, so let's finish this off with some, oh, then we use the, um, here's my SMR that um, some making required, Logan sent. Love the colors. Um, and he, uh, he was like, this one's right up your alley. Um, such a nice knot on this. Um, so now I have um, two SMRs with synthetics. One has that G5 or G4 knot, whatever that is in there. And the other has a Sinbad. Well, let's go ahead and finish this off with some balm and splash. Um, you know, it's funny, this balm, um, it's so thick. This one, you could, all the other balms I've received have been super runny. Um, whereas this one's more like a, uh, um, kind of a icing consistency. Um, which I prefer. Um, so let's shake up the splishity splash. And this is a very good barber shop scent. This is what um, most people I feel when they hear barber shop, this is a scent um, that they think of kind of like with uh, Windy City Barbershop by, um, I think it's Oleo or Chicago Grooming, whoever they are now. Um, let's see. There's another barbershop out there that has a very similar scent to it. Um, but my brain is blank. It's not CAD. Um, nothing from PAA that I can recall. Um, anyways, great barbershop scent. Absolutely love John Patton's soaps. Uh, looking forward to, um, all of his releases as they come. Um, this month's release is, um, for the subscription service, and I guess... Afterwards, it'll be available to everyone. Is um, I forgot what his name is for it, um, but it's a um, stupid glasses. It's an Irish Springs um, type of smell. Um, And I know a lot of people like the Irish Springs, um, like with PAA and I don't know if anybody else does it. This lens keeps popping out. But um, I've never liked Irish Springs um, scent. That smell just to me doesn't do it. So I'm skipping this month's subscription, sadly. Um, but it's okay because um, he has Prospector coming out and um, for subscribers in the Paisley section, it looks like he's bringing back um, what's the name of it? Crap, tight lines, which is a Creed Aventus. Um, so I could pick that one up. Um, but yeah, I love John Patton's soaps. Five point eight ounces of deliciousness for an excellent price of what is it, $15.99, $16.99 for uh, six ounces of soap, basically 5.8 ounces, just like Sterling's. Um, can't beat it. 
But that's it for tonight's shave. Tomorrow's shave, we will, um, I'll probably use the Carb Overlander again with a different blade, see if we could get a better outcome. Um, or tomorrow I may use the Hone uh, Type 15 in brass. Now that I got it back, looking forward to that. Um, and also, if you haven't seen on Facebook, I have two brand new Copper Outlaws um, that I'm trying to sell for a good price. It'll come with both handles and the stand. Brand new, never used, $125. Uh, PM me on Facebook Messenger if you're interested. Um, yeah, so I'll see y'all tomorrow. Until then, uh, remember to be kind to one another, love one another. And I ask that you take care and uh, be safe out there. And most importantly, God bless.